Now, I've had this boat for a few months and I've persisted with this small problem I've had with a bit of ventilation and cavitation in tight corners. And since putting an extra battery across the transom, I've got more weight at the back. So it's, it's especially with two blokes in it, it's a bit sluggish coming out of the hole. So I'm gonna pull myself a, I'm pull myself a foil. I'm gonna put a SE300 on. I'll show you how quick and easy they are to fit. And I've done some water testing without the foil. I'm gonna fit this thing, throw it on the water and see if these things make much of a difference. So I've used them before and I know they do, but you never really know until you fit these things on a boat to see how much it's gonna improve it or if it's gonna improve it at all. So let's throw it on and see how it goes. So what these things come with is a mounting plate um, template, if you like. So you fit that to the back of the engine and fold it around your cab plate. And all you do is line up the squares after that, or line up the lines with a marking pen. And you've got the perfect spot to drill your holes. And it is a really, really simple install with this. This is a great idea. Now I've got them all marked out. I'm just drilling, drilling a smaller pilot hole with the four mil drill. And it says on the box, it's in metric. So it's um, it says drill a quarter inch to nine thirty twos of an inch. So I just Googled that and it's about seven mil, or just a bit under, well, seven mil is about perfect, right in the middle of those two. So. Seven mil drill. What I always do is I only drill three holes and I'll make sure the last one I drill once I've bolted the other three in because I found in the past when I drill four holes if I'm out just that little bit it makes it a little bit hard to get these things on so you know, from past experience three holes is good. It's just a case now of pitching it all up and going crossways as well so I can pinch it up so it it stays nice and straight and it went on really really easy so I'm going to throw it on the water and let's see if it makes any difference to the speeds and the uh, I dare say it'll make a big difference to my turning without any ventilation or cavitation so see how we go So has it worked? Yeah, look, I think it has. The fact that it pops me on the plane a lot quicker has made a big difference. I can get that slow uh, um, a planing speed, which is great if I'm just poking around and having a look at fishing spots. It's it's way too fast to troll or anything like that, so I haven't achieved anything there. Um, but in most boats, especially boats where the cavitation plate or the foil is dropped down into the water a little bit deeper, it will make a big difference to your steering. Um, with my boat, look, I think it might have made a little bit of a difference, but um, too small to actually uh, make a real decision on that. So I'll play around with it a little bit more and see how we go.
Okay, I'll change my mind on that. I normally trim this boat out, Tom. My trim gauge, it, trim, it sits on about four when I'm on the plane, which is a fair bit of trim. The trim gauge only goes to five. And at that time, I left the trim at three. So I trimmed it down um, one third of what uh, I would normally have it trimmed out at. And that made a massive difference. So just by dropping that trim down a little bit, I guess my foil actually starts to sit in the water a bit more and that reduces my cavitation and ventilation on turns. And that made a massive difference. So look, the foil has been a win. It hasn't changed my speed at all, which is great. I'm not slower, but I'm not quicker either. Um, so I think it's been a good thing. So the foil's here to stay.